Now that we have our chest tube about ready to go in, you need to prep your pleura vac. In prepping the pleura vac, first set up everything on a nice flat surface so you can fill your pleura vac with the sterile water that you brought to the bedside. Behind the, the pleura vac comes a little funnel filter, which you're going to need to keep. You're going to take that, it inserts directly into this little port that comes off the top. You're going to take, double bend that right against the device at the top, which creates a blockage. You're going to fill the top of this little filter funnel all the way to a little indented line right at the top notch. We're going to simulate that here. And when you have it filled all the way to the top, you're going to open, release, and that will actually fill your water seal right to the exact amount that it needs to be at. After that, you can use the same funnel to then open up the yellow flap and help to fill in your suction control chamber up to typically what is negative 22 or negative 20 rather. Um, and again, looking at your physician and what they actually would prefer if there is a different number. But again, your standard is negative 20 centimeters of water. After you fill that, keep your funnel because you may need it again if you need to refill periodically. You're gonna have your, your little long tube that actually connects into your chest tube. You maintain sterility of the tip at the end right here, which then will be handed off to your physician once your tube is placed, and they'll be able to directly connect that. After that, you just find out whether or not this is to water seal, which means that it would just be just like this on the ground below the patient, or if your the physician would prefer having this connected to active suction to the wall suction that you've already set up.